But not an MP's hard, bro. Y'all got fuck with this shit. No, nah, I, I fuck with it though. Like we was going to Guitar Center and just you know they be having one. You know how they got a little studio set up. Yeah, we we'll just be in there just playing with the shit. But we would not buy it. <laughs> we would not buy it. <laughs> we would not buy it. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't go buy it, bro. Well, it looks like TB Digital has a change of heart and he's just checking out the MPC One Plus, which is the same thing as the MPC One. The clip from earlier was from the Producer Grind podcast. He is one of the hosts of that show, as well as a host on the Producer Grind channel themselves where they make up beats and stuff like that. I'll have that linked in the description box as well as the video that we're going to check out why he is using the MPC One Plus. The point of this video is not to make fun of him, but to help him along the way to his journey to standalone music production, which is very important for the youth to check that out. Otherwise, it will be a dying breed yet again. People won't agree with me, but he also has made a point about older producers being haters, and I have to acknowledge that as well because that is a good point, which I'll get into in another video. Let's get into this. Hey. Mm. Already off to a good start. Very good sample selection. This right here, these right here, all you need. Dead ass serious. Without it, mm. I agree. Okay, he's using lazy chop or a manual chop. I would probably use BPM chopping. making very good decisions. Uh, however, if you are to like sample vinyl and unless you cut a perfect loop, like if you don't trim a perfect loop or anything like that, uh, you, time, you can time stretch it or whatever, warp it, whatever, and it's not gonna work. Also, I don't know how he approached the, the time stretching per pad, especially when you did manual chop. Uh, because if you do manual chop, the same issue will be, it has to be perfect increments. So I think he skipped that, but that's cool. I got a master class if you are interested, by the way, on the MPC one, and I go over these things. Mm-hmm. See that? Hey. <laughs> so I'm guessing that when he was doing the hi-hat thing and all that, uh, that he felt like his timing was off, which, you know, it's not easy to do that. And by the way, I'm going to give you a quick tip on that. Here's a shortcut. I know the obvious thing is this is the MPC Live 2, but it works just like the MPC 1 or the X or Key 61. Uh, what he did was go into 16 levels to do that. And you don't have to do that. I mean, all you have to do is hit this button right here, which is note repeat. You can just uh, double tap and it will latch it. And that's all you have to do. And as long as you have TC on, it will be on point. So you would just record your hi-hats in. Just like that. Simple, real simple and sweet. And if you wanna get fancy, you can do different time signatures. or even like triplets. And after you're done, make sure that you set it back to 1 16th. So if you're using timing correct, that it won't throw you off while you're in the beat making process and then just turn off note repeat. 
it will come with practice and time. Mm -hmm. That was a really dope tip from TB. And that was something I used to do in FL Studio. You know, that, that comes with changing up the shift timing and timing correct. You can do that like right then and there. But however, one of the things I would like to highlight is, you know, Akai needs to be a little bit more aware or whoever the developers are, whatever, uh, need to be aware of how smooth the piano roll works or how the younger generation, they rely on the piano roll and they, that's how they like to build stuff. And that's a very important thing. Even as someone as old as me that has used FL Studio way before, well, not way before the MPC, no. But I understand the true concept and the power behind a dope piano roll like FL Studio. One of the things I definitely like about TB Digital as a content creator is his connection with his audience. I talked about that in my Jermaine Dupri video. It's you need to, as a successful content creator, and I'm not talking about myself, or how to be a successful content creator is understanding your audience and what type of language that they, you know, speak. And he clearly knows, you know, things that people will understand and relate to without doing all the extra scientific shit. I, I know there's channels for that. You know, I like these type of channels right here. Putting a little bit more sauce on it. I, 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 I hear you. Hey. Oh, I definitely want to hear how he does his 808s. Yeah, he didn't turn note off. But I like the way it comes off, though. That shit is fire. Throw that sub 37 on that thing. Quick sidebar. Notice how he doesn't have a Scarlet 2i2. He has the Apollo twin right over here. Good choice, young man. Oh, we, we cooking up again? Hey. Mm. Woo! Look at him. Ooh. Mm. To be honest, that was not bad. And now you guys can see, all you FL Studio heads, you know, y'all dedicated guys can see how much more immersive the production is when you're more hands-on with it. It's inspiring. And I'm glad to see the younger producers get on these type of things. I can't, words, words cannot describe my joy seeing younger producers get on the MPC. That's what we need, it's the lifeblood and not all this other bullshit. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think any of those beats was trash. I think he was kind of underplaying that. Yeah, it was pretty hard. Hard ass drum line. Nasty as hell. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I can't hear what he's doing with the sub 37. Mm. He cooking. So overall, really dope beats, bruh. <laughs> like I said, I said it again, said it before, said it whenever. He was cooking something vicious. Beats were really hard and really dope sample selection too as well. 
And he's doing a really good job with the NPC. The only other thing I saw that, you know, that, and I don't even think he's conscious of it. I think that's just how the 808s, he's doing it kind of like how Zaytoven uh, used to do his 808s on the NPC 2000 XL. And that's having note on. So that way you can press the pad and then the sample plays as long as you hold down the pad. And yeah, I, I actually like that choice in the way that he's uh, making his beats. Yeah, yeah, solid shit, bro. Really, really dope stuff. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. Yeah, what you think about TB's cook up, man? I, I like that, I like that for him. I like the young hands, what they doing so far. I got more stuff on the way. Links in the description box, NPC One Masterclass, and all the stuff, uh, and the video too as well. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to TB, for sure.